What is up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are covering the top stories on VGM. Now, I've told you before that the Xbox One has two HDMI ports on the back of it, and that means it has an HDMI in and an out. So, the in is being advertised as where you can plug in your TV, like your satellite, your cable box, into the back of the Xbox, and then therefore you can get extra information while you're watching TV. So you, now you can be watching TV and also see notifications of what's happening online. Uh, I think if you're watching NFL or something, you get even more stats or something else like that. But so far, the HDMI in has been advertised for the TV aspect of it. But it was asked a few weeks ago whether or not you could plug in other devices that uses HDMI out into the back of the Xbox One. And they said yes. So theoretically, you could plug in your Xbox 360 or your PlayStation 4 even if you wanted to. But they said at the time that they weren't sure how well that would work as far as, you know, if you really wanted to play like Xbox 360 games on your Xbox One, could you do that and it not have a lot of lag? And there were concerns whenever they first said that. So they said, yeah, sure, but there might be lag. So we're not going to say or advertise that aspect of it. But it is being confirmed now. They talked to an Xbox engineer who says his kid at home is actually using it for just that. He's plugging in his Xbox 360 into the Xbox One, and he's able to enjoy uh, both. So they said you can actually use the snapping feature. If you saw that Xbox One uh, video that came out about the dashboard, I'll leave a link in the description box if you haven't seen it. You need to check that out because it's a pretty cool video. Uh, but they said, yes, you can snap back and forth. So if you are planning on getting both consoles whenever they release, and I know a lot of people actually are, or at least if not at launch later on down the road, if TV is something that you're not interested in, then yes, you can plug in another console, whether it be an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 4. And they said, no, the human eye cannot detect the lag that is happening from going out of that one console back into the end of the Xbox One. So good news on that front. We've also learned what apps are going to be available at launch for both the PlayStation and the Xbox One. Let's first cover the PlayStation lineup. They've got Amazon Instant Video, Crackle, Crunchyroll, Epix, Hulu Plus, NBA Game Time, Netflix, NHL, Redbox, Voodoo, and Yup TV. So that is your lineup of entertainment apps for the PlayStation 4. On the Xbox One, we've got Amazon Instant Video, Crackle, CWTV, ESPN, Fox Now, FX Now, HBO Go is listed as coming soon, Hulu Plus, Machinima, Muzu TV, Netflix, Redbox, Target, TED, The NFL, Twitch, Univision, Verizon, and Voodoo. And no, I don't think Voodoo is a religious channel. So that is your lineup, and that was for the United States. I know some of you from other countries are wondering what your lineup is. I'll post those up as well, and I'll leave links in the description box so you can see which ones are going to be available in your particular area. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. Post your comments below. I want to know, do you ever use these apps currently on your consoles as it is? And would you use the plug-in to the back of the Xbox One if you had both consoles? That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.